Is this Muriel Mackay's final resting place? 53 years ago, two brothers kidnapped Mrs. Mackay and held her hostage for ransom. They were later convicted of her murder. She was never seen again, but it has come to light that one of the brothers, Arthur Hussein, claimed he buried her on Jaywick Sands. In 1972, in a letter to the appeals court, his attorney revealed the killer's confession. He claimed that he informed the local police, but the author Simon Farker, who discovered the letter concealed in legal documents, is skeptical that anyone followed up on the information. As far as I know, no police officers were informed of this. This is the only piece of paper among thousands that actually names a possible burial location. Mrs. McKay was the wife of newspaper executive Alec McKay. Neither the police nor that solicitor visited Arthur in prison. She was kidnapped from their London home shortly after Christmas in 1969. Her abductors mistakenly thought she was Anna, the then wife of Rupert Murdoch, Mr. McKay's boss. This year, the police reopened the case and searched the Hertfordshire farm. They found no trace of Mrs. Mackay where the Hussein brothers kept her prisoner. I learned to live with my mother's death and how it happened a long time ago. Therefore, I don't really want to go on for too long, but if someone is willing to take a quick look or a thorough look at this vast area, it might be a good idea. There is no evidence that the police have ever searched for Muriel Mackay here, and it appears that neither her family nor the detectives were informed of the solicitor's letter. On the case, and right now Scotland Yard is reluctant to start a new search. The officer in charge of the case has dismissed the claim, saying he can't verify the information because the killer and his lawyer are dead.